I've got an excellent connection, but I'm not broadcasting anything. What the hell? Is anything picking up? I keep jumping back and forth from this. Oh, it is a huge delay. All right. I have to turn this down. Wow. Um, what a pain in the rear end. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, as I'm going to say it. It's... Um, this is... Uh, trying to start this. I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate... The, the countdown and then leading into the actual live stream and then I was showing having a bad connection so that's probably my alert saying you're going live no oh, monthly update yeah whatever all right nobody's watching this if anyone's watching this um, I don't know, maybe somebody could say something? I don't think anyone is. Current views is one, it says. Oh, I can't keep jumping back and forth like that. I can at least open this so I can see if anything comes up on the chat, but I don't think anyone is here, which is fine. It's just as well because this was this was a huge test tonight, anyways. So I've got two people viewing. If there's anybody there, please say hello. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if anyone's interested in what I'm doing.
It's weird that it says there's two people watching. I don't think there there is, actually. That's fine. This is just a test for me anyways, so I, I'm not too concerned at the moment. It was just as well. I don't feel like I'm on my game tonight. So how's everybody doing tonight? Let's let's drop this one. This this is crap. Hmm. I don't want Adobe Photoshop. Oh, stop doing that. Hmm. Don't use credit till I know more about it. Pixelmator Pro has kind of pissed me off. Sketchbook Pro was nice. It's just, I, there's a few gestural controls that give me issues. Uh, I like Clip Studio. New Shop's okay. Medibank Paint I find kind of limited. I can play with it once in a while. I don't know why I have it there. I think I was going to do a review of it at some point. Um, sketchbook. I'll show you what I, my issue with Sketchbook. I like it. I like um, when you're drawing with pencil tools, it really looks like pencil tools. And it has a nice, nice, nice flow to it. Let me zoom in a bit so you can. Oh, see, yeah. You can't use a Command Plus or Command Minus to increase the, uh, the size of your drawing area. You've got to click on the magnifying glass and then zoom in. And then you can click the X to get out of it. Feels like a couple of unnecessary steps. I don't like it. But it goes down so nice. Like the, the pencil really feels like pencil. And there's this nice transition from the uh, uh, to your, your thick and thin. One of the, the issues I have with the XP Pen monitor and the pen is that it, 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 the tapering is a bit odd on it. Uh, I find it's not as, uh, whoops, not as smooth as I'd like it to be and sometimes tapers a bit odd. But in this program, in, um, in Sketchbook Pro, it kind of um, smooths that out. But, do you see how kind of janky this looks when you zoom in, using the magnifying? I don't know, like it doesn't look, you know, if I, if I draw this, it kind of goes a little bit smoother. So there's something in the sizing that's a bit odd. If it's small, then it looks small. Uh, it's hard to explain. It goes more pixelated. So you got to zoom in if you want like a nice smooth line. Zoom back out. Um, but the tools really are nice. Look, you have Copic. Pick some lovely colors with Copic. But yeah, I, I like... Um, See this? Yeah, don't like that up here. I hate having to grab this every time I want to zoom in and out. Maybe if I have a tablet that uses touch, I can move it with one hand, draw with the doesn't have, like this is the largest on its fine liner and it's just that, it's a line and it's not a very good line. 
I don't like these. I never did like the pucks in these. I know I did supposed to. It's, it's a very different program. It's not like Photoshop or anything like that. It's a very, very different program. Um, yeah, see, that is on pure black. So Copic blacks are not, but it's, it's the uh, tools mainly in here are really nice. The wide is really, really super nice. Look at this, you know, texture. That would be kind of a nice one to draw with. It says there's two people watching, and I think one of them is myself. The other one, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just something on the on the program. I don't know. I like dogs. It's good. Need to uh, learn how to draw cats a little better. Uh, cats are a bit funny. I'm a very messy artist. Uh, I'll put down a lot of scratchy, scribbly lines, and I am the only one who can kind of make out what everything is or what at least it should be even if it's not not right so if I go in I'm gonna add another layer and say I'm gonna ink that I know exactly what I need to ink in that that entire mess uh, this why it's very hard for me to do um, to do demonstrations it's like here just do as I say not as I do <laughs> let me explain that You know, the, the hard part about this is, I mean, I'm just starting, but I was so excited about doing live streams. But it's hard to get an audience. way anyways I really at the moment have no idea what I'm doing I'm just uh, I'm kind of actually that's wrong in there I don't like this I'm kind of dicking around here a lot Mm, doesn't look right either. Anyway, so this is um, this is Final Cut Pro, or no, this is uh, Sketchbook Pro. Ooh ah. Uh. It's nice. I like it, but not a lot. <sighs> I 
I mean, even the very basic set is actually really nice on this. You know, like there's a lot of fancy stuff in here. You know, there's um I should I should have added a color layer in there. I've colored the nose already, whatever. I'm kind of a little tired. I didn't I didn't um Didn't sleep much last night. Walking out there. I want a little more texture than that. You know what, this whole platform really is for the young. And it's very frustrating because I would have loved to have had this when I was younger. Now, that's not to say that, that older people aren't successful on here. It's just, it's harder for older people. Which is too bad because I think older people have a lot more to offer. But a lot of young people want, they want youth, they want sexy, they want the drama that all comes with it. As soon as you come on here and it's like, you know, I have something interesting to offer and no one really cares. <laughs> There's very few people who are over over 50 who are successful on YouTube. Uh, Brian G. Johnson does very well. Dotto Tech, uh, who is in his 60s, does very well on here. I think uh, the Boomer Consumer is another one. He does really well. These are all older people who have uh, come on here not to make some sort of drama channel but they actually have something to offer but what do people want they want the crazy grandpa smashing things he's dead now isn't he I think he is <laughs> he's dead now well that's my ghost again in my house knocking things over I'm pretty sure my building is slightly haunted. Not a lot. <laughs> Every once in a while. I get this weird, there's weird shit that happens. The weirdest times. No, I don't want that. nobody's died in my building that's the weird thing um, so it's not it's not like that there's what's apparently called drifters um, we're apparently spirits come in from elsewhere <laughs> they wander around and they Decided to drift in. Maybe they used to live in the building but moved, or they um, they might have visited somebody here in the building during their life, and then they're just kind of coming back here out of force of habit. And uh, it's possible that's what it could be, but there's definitely some weird shit that happens around here, and. I don't know if you believe in that sort of thing or not, because I sure as hell had a hard time with it. And uh, it's only it, it's only because I started seeing a few weird things. And it's been obnoxious because I see it happening in my office and in my apartment. My apartment's actually just upstairs. And I have two roommates. They don't see anything. The one is convinced there's nothing here. And the other one just says, I don't believe in that sort of thing. That's fine. But it never happens when they're... <laughs> 
every once every so often and i mean every so often like every few months something really messed up happens and it's like it's just to me and there's a woman that lives upstairs above me that also has kind of um has had a few weird things happen in her apartment we watch the door open on its own that's you start seeing things like that and you're like what the hell like there's no breeze there was nothing to push it no one's pushing it you're sitting there talking for 10 minutes with the door open and then it just randomly starts to open. <laughs> and i'm telling you that's it's not normal when you see that it kind of freaks you out a little bit there's Carl. She calls him Carl. I'm calling him Sam. There, there might have been more than one. We don't know. Um, I wish this one. Mm. I don't think it means any harm. It's not malevolent or anything. It's being nosy. Still think it's looking for somebody. And he's like, is so and so here? Like, no, and you're dead. <laughs> this is 2021 now. What year are you here from? <laughs> we have some pubs just like half an hour away at the lakefront here in Burlington. Apparently, all the pubs are completely haunted. <laughs> I gotta go hang out there sometimes just to see. I'm not really a drinker, though, that's the thing. All right, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. See, I colored this nose on this level and I sh shouldn't have. Because now it's on there permanently. I don't want that much. I'm sitting here talking about all this and um, there's nobody watching. I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this in replay. I might. We'll see. Let's see what these brushes do. It's not a very good drawing, but I, whoops, I, I like this dog. I don't really know how to get people to come to a live stream. They say the joy is in the journey. <laughs> Not having much of a journey here when I have I have 90 subscribers. 90, that's it. I need 100 in order to properly change my channel name because it's off, it's wrong. I'd like to fix that. I'm going to save this. It's kind of cute. I like to fix the eyes though. The eyes aren't quite right. Having my cup of tea. So I think I asked this earlier, but how are you all doing tonight? Is everybody good? That's good. Let's check out these blenders. We've got blenders. There's smudge. I don't want smudge. I want a blender. Colorless blender. Ooh, uh. Uh, that kind of just... That didn't do anything. Smears it a little bit. So how are you doing tonight? Yeah, it's good.
Miss Karen, 666, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> All goes to charity. <laughs> I'm being dumb. <laughs> I'm bored tonight. I have things to do. I, I, I shouldn't be bored. I actually have other things I should be doing, but I kind of really want to sort out this... Um, I really wanted to sort this out tonight for for doing live streaming to have the countdown in there properly at countdown the, the countdown went and then it went to black and uh i couldn't figure out why it went directly to black it's an obs i just somehow need to figure out how it goes from the countdown into like, like i click live stream and then you you select your countdown that you've got and it counts down and then it doesn't do anything it goes to black. So somehow I'm missing a step in there. And I'm trying to find out how. And I've, I've tried to read up on it and check out YouTube videos. And they don't really explain that one step in the middle that's kind of missing. So if um, if anyone knows what the hell I'm talking about and knows how to how to fix that, I'm, I'm all ears. I, uh, I did. I added the shadow on the wrong level. This is why I lock levels. I always end up painting on the wrong level. My uh, my background is uh, was originally traditional animation. For anyone that's interested, and I feel like I I was kind of shafted a little bit because I was obsolete. Uh, within a couple of years of graduating because the, the the industry switched to computers so quickly faster than we anticipated and when you're young you're kind of in and out of studios i i did a little bit of work at nelvana and uh then i did a little bit of uh, work at a studio across the street from it that was called phoenix animation this is in toronto ontario but the studio was called phoenix and uh, I worked on something called Mumphy, uh, Mumphy's Christmas Special. Um, they did Mumphy the Elephant and then Mumphy's Christmas Special. And I didn't do anything terrific there. I didn't do anything outstanding. I was paid pretty good money, though, for it. And I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the people there. Um, there was a few little issues here and there because there was some loss of communication and stupid nonsense. But... Anyways, it was all sorted out. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Um, but when I went back over to Nelvana, I did a bunch of tests for them. Did a whole bunch of tests. Quite a number. And the tests were good. Like, they, they were all, like, fine with it. But then they were like, well, we actually need somebody in ink and paint. Fine, I'll do anything right now. I just want to kind of get started in here. And... Uh, but they were switching to digital ink and paint. Somebody was going to show me, I forget who, somebody was supposed to show me how, and they did. This is before home computers. This is before internet. And I didn't know a damn thing about it. I barely knew what the hell a mouse was. Um, so it just all confused me. And I thought, I learned everything practical. I want to, I want to put pencil to paper here. I, I like doing layouts. I was never big into actually doing animating. I found that actually a very monotonous process. Um, you know, I don't mind doing key poses and that kind of thing, but animating itself and in betweening and cleanup, that was, I'm terrible at cleanup. My line quality, as you can see, is quite horrendous. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, um, I like doing layout. I was I did a little bit, a tiny bit of background painting. I was kind of hired for a job, and then in a couple of days, they didn't they didn't need me anymore. 
Uh, I just had the worst luck. Like, absolute worst, worst, worst luck. And, uh, like, I was never fired or let go, or there was never any problems with my work. They liked my work for the most part. Um, it just, it was just bad, bad, bad timing. And, uh, you know, what do you do? I, I, I was trying to get in Elvana. They were trying to switch everything to computers, and they kept saying, what do you know about computers? It was 1992. What the hell did anybody know about computers? Well, now apparently this is all making a comeback. Now I've learned how to use a tablet. Now I've, you know, I, I've learned Photoshop and all these art programs. I could probably go in now and maybe find a position in, uh, in storyboarding. And... Um, I've been painting on the wrong levels here through this, Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, I could probably do a little more, but unfortunately, it's my drawing skills now that have suffered. Uh, I don't draw nearly as well as I used to. I understand a lot of the principles and whatnot, but... Um, Man, I, I'm just, I, I could probably pick that up again easily enough. I mean, I could probably just get practicing and start, it would probably all come back to me again. But, um, you know, I've kind of, I'm 50 now, 50 something. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, man, I, I thought this would be kind of more fun this i feel more suited to now i don't want to get into a studio and deal with people and yeah i like doing my own thing now and i i thought uh you know maybe i could try and make something out of um out of this whole youtube thing uh, other people are doing it other artists are doing it uh i know people from uh who are in my uh, who were in my class back in, in, in when I was taking traditional animation, uh, who are uh, doing this sort of thing. They've started um, just doing their own stuff, freelancing, etc. Uh, some, I don't think there's any on YouTube itself. I know one posts his work on Facebook a lot. Uh, it's a fellow by the name of Glenn Hansen. Uh, while his stuff can sometimes be a little risque, um, he is an absolutely phenomenal artist. Blows me away every time. Like, it just makes me want to throw all my pencils and everything out the window and say, I give up. <laughs> but if you have a chance to check out his work, uh, and, and if you uh, don't mind some of what you're going to see on there, you should check out his work. Uh, you have to have patience and you have to make sure that if you're not going to have another job on the side that you you have the the, the money to burn and in the... it's a little bit um it can kill your 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 creativity sometimes i know i know some people who like working that way they is my stream working okay i'm getting a sense this is not uh hi i've got somebody that actually responded <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, somebody watching. I've just been on here kind of yakking away. This has just been a time not really kind of doing anything too serious. I'd like to maybe uh, make something a little more of this in time, but right now this is just, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just testing things out tonight. I've been yakking away. It's been giving me a good opportunity to vent. I forget where I was. I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, making money digitally or making money online as an artist. Because I think it can be done. I think you can definitely do it. Uh, as I said, you just have to. Um, you really have to work at it. You have to be patient. Um, 
if you can if you can handle another part-time job on the side without it killing your creativity then then by all means go for it because you can um you know it's good to have that kind of extra income flow of income i found that when i did that it was killing me it was killing my um uh, um what's the word i'm looking for like it was uh, it was burning me out uh, even a simple part-time job was, was i come home and i just didn't feel like drawing after that i'm like what am I doing? Fix this. Hey, Josh. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what long time no see? <laughs> I'm testing out uh, OBS Studio and doing live streaming. This is just a little bit of a test tonight. Um, I'm just uh, killing a bit of time here, yakking away. See, this is why you should do live streaming. You can get a whole four followers. <laughs> oh, buddy hell. It's talking about um, the potential to make money online. And if you have the money saved up and you have the patience uh, that you can, you can make money online. Uh, you can make a living with your work online. Uh, I think it's good to have a little nest egg saved up because it does take a while. I hope you can all hear me okay. I'm using this microphone. And sometimes, it's, ah, it's, sometimes it's not the best. I'm going to save this and start something else. Uh, save as. I'm just going to leave it as a TIFF. Interesting thing about Sketchbook Pro, everything else like Photoshop <clears throat> and uh, all these other big art programs save it as its own file. But Sketchbook Pro doesn't have its own file. It just saves it as a TIF. TIF will save and preserve all the levels. If you save it as anything else, it flattens the image and you lose all your layers. Um, but you have to you have to be careful. If you open this in something else, it'll open all lines. If you but if you save something out of Photoshop, it's kind of dumb. I and unfortunately there will not be any more updates. Um, there will be no. See, I can save this as a Photoshop document if I need to want to continue in Photoshop. Let's save as a TIFF for now. All right. Where did that save? I need to see where that saved. I went to desktop. All right. Use a different program. Um, I'm going to go with Clip Studio Paint, I think. I don't really feel like working in Photoshop. Um, Pixelmator Pro has good potential and it's killed a lot of its potential unfortunately i only have two people again what happened let's open up clip studio paint i've got somebody back again so I'll try a new um, new file in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, eight by ten resolution, three fifty. Uh, illustration color, I guess, is fine. RBG, whatever.
I need to I need to get some new brushes in um, in Clip Studio Paint. I don't have a huge selection in here yet. I have the, kind of the basics for what I need, uh, but I don't have a lot of textured stuff in here yet. It's like pastel, pencil, inking. There's inking and marker, but I don't really have like uh, paint brushes in here yet. So I got to figure out how to. Um, how to do that. Real pencil. Whatever that means. I've been doing dragons and dogs the last couple of days. Oh yeah, Comic Life is still going very well. They've been developing uh, more for the iPad now. Uh, but yeah, I, I like it as well. I was When I was attempting to do a comic book years ago, I was doing all my drawings and importing them into, into uh, Comic Life, and I was laying them all out inside Comic Life. And they've even developed, they're developing now an extension on that to allow you to draw right in Comic Life. But that is only for the iPad so far but um, the one I've got open here what's it called <laughs> clip studio paint uh, a, a lot of artists like to use this um, oops get rid of that a lot of artists like to use this uh, to draw with manga because it has like uh, as you can see here, like it has all the um, like the same kind of idea. You can drop in panels to do um, to do comic book layouts, and you can draw right in them. It's quite an ingenious program, really. And I haven't really used this aspect of it yet. It's not even letting me do it yet. I haven't even figured this out. Um, Need to add another layer. I don't know. Let's see each one of these. Yeah, I got to. Um, I got to learn how to uh, how to do this. I'm doing this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never used it for this as of yet. Uh, so I'll have to go into, I'll have to watch like a little bit of a tutorial sometime and, and kind of figure all this out because it's, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure just right now. Cause you can drop that in. Yeah, Comic Life is a great program. It's huge potential. I'm surprised they haven't done more with it by now. I think it could have been an absolutely incredible program. Uh, oops, where is it? Yeah, you can see here it's in my selection, Comic Life. Um, but for, for the Mac, it only has... Um, it only gives you the layout uh, to to draw pictures or your drawings into it. You can't really draw right in the program. On the iPad, it does have um, it's a separate program. I think uh, I don't think it's the the version of it because it has the same sort of Comic Life program. It has the other one where you can draw right in it. And I think they are trying to develop tools and you got the basic pencil and inking and coloring but there's nothing really that fancy about it it's not definitely not like photoshop or or clip studio it's really really super simple but lots of room to grow and especially for the ipad it's, it's going to do some amazing stuff krita i'd like to learn a little bit more about because krita uh it's free and it's a it's a really big complete drawing program that um, there's a lot in it and you can do pretty much anything in that that you can do in Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop for the most part. It's just an unusual layout and it's another learning curve for another program. I haven't spent a lot of time using it. Uh, but it is, um, 
uh, it is a really, really uh, good, good, pr they've spent a long time on it and it's free. I think they just sort of take donations. So that's why updates are kind of far and few between. Uh, Pixelmator Pro. I used to use Pixelmator, which is right here. That's the original program. And I loved it. It was inexpensive. It was a nice option to Photoshop. It was it was better than, uh, what is it, Photoshop Essentials, I think it's called. The, the, the smaller Photoshop program that's only like 100 bucks. Pixelmator was actually better than that back in the day. Then they turned around and started developing Pixelmator Pro. And uh, I thought the Pro would be more geared for doing photography, which it is. But they don't, they dropped a lot with Pixelmator. Um, and I'll show you the biggest program, problem is that it doesn't entirely work with the XP Pen, with, with this. I can use the mouse. But you can't use this with it. And I'll show you. New document. Uh, I just want to do 8 by 10 here. 8, 10, 300 DPI. Okay. So look at this. You got nice 8 by 10. There's all your tools there on the right. All your settings on your left. Your layers. I got the colors down here. So I'll go with like a drawing tool. And I want like black. And I've selected this one. That's a nice thick and thin line. And I go to draw. Oh, it's making a line. Hmm. It's never done that. Um, now it's going to make a liar out of me. You couldn't do this before. Let's try another one here. Did they actually fix this? Oh my goodness. I think they actually finally fixed this. For the longest time, you could not use this with a Clip Studio Pro. Or... Sorry, you could not use this with the XP Pen. These lines, all I was getting was little streaks like this. This is the first time I've seen this finally work. Are you kidding me? I don't think I'm still getting... No, it's supposed to do that. I don't think I'm still getting... This would be not. It's not as thorough. They put more into... Um, They've put more into the Pro. Yeah, I, you know, this has been my biggest complaint and I have actually emailed both Pixelmator and I've emailed XP Pen saying it doesn't work. Like it'll work with the Pro version, but it doesn't work with the original. And uh, this is the first time I've seen it because I, li I like this because it was, um, whoops. It was, as you can see, it's it's really nice and simple. Like all of these are, are these, uh, what do you call them? Ah, get out of my way here. These are all floating, so they can drift around on the screen. And I, I kind of like that. They're not built into it. And uh, I want to, I actually kind of want to test this. Because look, I'll do this red. And I got these leaves. This was nice. You had all those things like leaves like this that you could do. And, and uh, wow, let's see what else we got here. Give me one second. I'm, I'm just suddenly dumbfounded by this. I was, did not expect this. Where's the, the kinds of brushes? Give me one moment here. Oh, there it is. This is not all. So, um, nature, smoke, artistic, sparkle, abstract, grunge. Let's go back to black here for a moment. Or you can do like a brick wall if you need it. There's like a lot of nice textures in this that I always liked. Um, I don't know why this is all of a sudden working. Somehow they sent an update or something. I don't know. 
even when I got the new M1 Mac, I, I, I tested it just to see if anything would change, and nope, nothing. It was still, I was still getting these little dots like this on the screen. Butterflies. And go back to artistic here. Because uh, sometimes it could also make lines on a few of them, but you weren't getting the, the pressure sensitivity with the pen. You couldn't do the thick and thin lines with it, but you're getting it now. Look at this. Thick to thin. I am amazed. My life is complete. I can't believe they finally fixed this. So default. Default has all like your markers and everything, like your marker lines. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about this now. I did this because I was going to open up the other version. I'll show you Pixelmator Pro. Um, Pixelmator Pro. I think it's like seventy or eighty bucks. Uh, I think they have a deal if you want to get both programs. I got food on my keyboard. Ugh. So let me quit this. I want to delete. Here's the Pro. Last use this one. So here it's all built in and it's, look at this, I even, you know I had all this customized and it's now just dropped all the customization that I had. I'm so ticked off. I had this switched around. I wanted the, uh, the layers over here. Anyways, this is fine. Well, maybe I did set it up like this. Um, their, uh, their markers are not that good. I imported some markers from the old, from the old Pixelmator program into the new one, uh, because, um, let me show you, uh, where's inks? It, it does a ribboning effect. Like if you have a chisel, um, everything is designed like a chisel marker like this. So if I need to go around something, it creates this ribboning effect you have right here, like, like a streamer. And when you hang streamers and they twist, that's what it kind of does. It's like if you have a, um, if you're trying to draw with a, uh, a chisel tip marker, and I hate this right in here, and there is no brush in this entire program that is just simple thick and thin line without it doing that chisel tip angle. I had to import it. I made a special one here, imported from Pixelmator, and I took a couple of them, the, the I think the 16, 16 and the 44, and the 44, and I had to import them. Do you, do you see here? Let me increase the size of that. See, so this doesn't have the ribboning, the uh, ribboning, and it's these only two that I imported in. So you get a much nicer line. Uh, your layers acts a little bit strange in this. It's not, it does most of the same normal things that every other program for drawing will do, but there's something about uh, layers that behaves a bit differently. And it frustrated me. It was this huge learning curve because every pro, you can't make something exactly like another program. They have to have their own spin on it. So they've tried to make something unique in this, and I, I applaud them for that, but I miss using the original Pixelmator. Now that I know it works, I can go back to it, but now they, they don't really update it. All the new bells and whistles they keep adding to the program is all added to Pixelmator Pro. But as you can see, this is all, I wish we could do that. It's fixed into one, one window like this, it doesn't have the 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 floating planes like the uh, like the original one does, and I liked that. I liked that I could kind of move and arrange things, but this is all fixed just like this. So blah, and their version for the iPad of Pixelmator Pro is crap. Do not waste your money on it. It is hard. They need to spend some time fixing that up. It is absolutely terrible. Um, if you have an iPad, you're going to have Procreate, right? That's the one for the iPad. 
Um, the only other one that's equally as good is Painter, Infinite Painter, I think it's called. Infinity Painter or Infinite Painter. That's another one that's really good. There's other, there's better programs, we'll put it that way. Do not get Pixelmator Pro for the iPad. It is horrendous, and I spent 12 bucks on it. Thankfully, it was only 12 and I hate it. I'm hoping they do some updates to make it worth my while, but it is awful. And it is just called Pixelmator Pro. There is no... Like, there's Pixelmator and Pixelmator Pro for the Mac. For the iPad, it's just Pixelmator Pro. And it's like this. It's like this kind of layout. Kind of. Uh, reduced for, for the iPad. But... Oh, what a pain in the ass. Terrible selection of brushes. You can't import anything. You can't really change the brushes that much. You, you can't change their properties all that much. So you get that ribbiting that I was just talking about. Um, it's god-awful. <laughs> Don't use it. Save your money. What have I got over here? Oh, I still got uh, Clip Studio Paint open over there. I'm going to close this. Because um, when I when I first started using Pixelmator years and years ago, I raved about it, how it was such a so much better option to Photoshop, and uh, now I've been really a little pissed at them because of what they've done with Pixelmator Pro, and that I couldn't draw on original Pixelmator, and then their iPad version stunk, <laughs> so I was getting angry at them. So they're getting a few points back now. Uh, Sketchbook is such a good program. It's just a shame they don't update it anymore. It really saddens me that they don't. Uh, I'm not going to open Pencil 2D. That's for animation. I've got this open. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. What the hell? Why is it 1 o'clock in the morning? I feel like I just got up. Like I just woke up and, and made my breakfast and started my day. Now the day is apparently over. And I'm not even tired. This really kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Days go by so quickly. I still have half a cup of tea. That's going to keep me awake all night. All right, what am I doing here? Let me get rid of this. How do I close that tab? There we go. Okay, let's go back and draw. Yeah, I can. And say, give me some ideas to draw, and somebody's gonna go draw Batman. I'm like, I don't want to draw Batman here. There. Now I can say I've drawn Batman. Where's the size on this? I get thrown. I jump between programs, and then I forget where things are. Does he have a neck or does it just kind of go right into the, I don't know. Take the eraser. And... By the way, for anybody that's watching, um, please go check out my Instagram. At Phil Chandler Arts. Um, and if you stumbled across this, because I'll put this on the replay, you know, it'll, it'll be there. Somebody wants to kind of tune in. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Just... 
screwing around here tonight. Nightwing. Who's who the hell is Nightwing? Which one is that? Comic book geeks out there are like, you're an artist and you don't know who Nightwing is. Google. I really kind of don't. Yeah. Oh, so he's just basically. I need that for reference. I need to. Oh, he was like the. Um... He was like the next Robin, I guess. He's like Robin with nunchucks. First Robin. So there was a Robin before Robin. Nightwing was before Robin. I was a kid. It was just Batman and Robin. That was it. <laughs> Batgirl was in there occasionally. I need to uh, I need to strengthen my anatomy a little bit. Robin is Nightwing. Okay. And it's just, um, he's just a person, really. He's kind of just, uh, he's just an anatomical person, and he just has that simple design and a simple mask on his face. So he has, like, a, not a very complicated costume. It's just very straightforward. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's very 70s. Um... There we go. My anatomy is so bad right now. I'm almost a little embarrassed to kind of do things like this when it's like, eh, <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to look. So I try to do something that's stylized. <laughs> It basically means I can't do anatomy. <laughs> I'll make it stylized. Once again, I kind of go into things and doing them rough, and I'm just, I'm such a messy artist. My arm's a bit too big.
his hair. His hair is kind of like I don't like to add, he's supposed to be a young kid, so I don't want to add like lines like that in there. The more lines you put in, the more it does age them. Density, stabilization, turn off a bit. Darker pencil. Robin, Dick Grayson, left Batman after a while and started to work as Nightwing. Then a new Robin, Jason Todd, took over. Then he died, because the Joker killed him. Then he got resurrected and became the Red Hood. Comic books have gotten so complicated. But I guess they have to change the story. I guess they can't do the same thing for like 60 years. I guess something has to happen. Make the story interesting and fresh. Otherwise, it's just the same thing over and over again. I think after this I'm gonna maybe attempt to go lie down and go to bed soon because I was up strangely really really late last night for some strange reason <laughs> can't imagine why I sort of like doing the live streams though it's um I wish I could perfect how to do the countdown properly, but I do like doing the live streams. How late were you up last night, Josh? Like, what, did you get your food? I know you were hungry. This looks god awful. <laughs> People are going to ask me to do a lot of superhero drawings, I think, so I better improve my uh, friggin' anatomy again. Go back and relearn it all. I used to be better at this. I wasn't any sort of great artist with anatomy, but I could, uh, I could do it. This is way off, I can tell.
He slept twice. I'm finding as I get older, I can't, I can't kind of do that. I can't, um, like sleep for a little bit and then get up then sleep for a little bit. There's a point you, um, as you get older, your, your body needs the, um, your, the proper REM sleep. And you can only do that when you've slept consecutively, uh, for a number of hours because your body falls into different stages of sleep and that's where they're saying you, you kind of need your eight hours so that you hit all the stages properly and if you keep waking up you don't fall into those stages you you might still dream but you're not getting um you're not getting the proper rem sleep and that's something i need to i need to get and i'm not getting enough of that actually so <clears throat> Anyways, this is just this joint is three quarter view, and I need to uh, figure out how that that shoulder deeks in behind properly because I've messed that up. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Maybe later I might go over it. I did a, a daredevil for somebody, for a friend of mine, and it took me a long time to get around to doing it. And uh, it turned out... Um, it turned out good, uh, finally. But when I finally had finally finished it, and I know it took me a long time, but when I finally finished it... Uh, my friend kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I, I, I think he got mad at me about something. Actually, <laughs> still don't know to this day what, but it's done for him. If he, if he ever comes back and we talk again, I'll, I'll have to give that to him. I did it in um, physical media. I did it with Copics, Copic markers. I think I'm going to leave it for this. I'll, uh, I'll save it. Maybe I'll fix it up a little later. It says I've got three, and I know one of them here is me, and then the other one is Josh, and then there's this mystery one, and I don't know what that is. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to shut down the live stream. My hair is a mess. I'm looking old. <laughs> I'm looking old, old, old these days. How do people end a live stream without switching? So they see you switching over to OBS or to. Um, stream to stop it i'm not sure how they do that anyways i'm gonna do that anyways yeah you too josh take care if you want to drop me a message separately go ahead i'm gonna be up for a little bit longer but i'm just gonna shut the stream down so we'll talk to you later